Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing my OPI products overviewed. I did a Maybelline products overview on last Sunday, I think, or maybe Saturday. And I'm sorry that my videos are so spaced out, but I do have one up on my 7 Days of Beauty channel, which is the collab I'm in, and that's going to be in the down bar, the skirt bar. I think Hello Katie's a skirt bar, that's really cute. Okay. So, I have written all of the names of, I actually didn't write the names, I just wrote one of the, like, words of what it's called in the OPI, and then I put all the different colors, so I'll be able to show you what it looks like when it dries, because all of these, I think, have dried, maybe not, like, the last ones, but. Okay, so I'm going to start with this first color up here, and this is If the Future Fits. And this is what the bottle looks like. So it's just this pinkish color. And then on here, it looks like that. Like I just showed you that color right there. This is actually one of my um, more favorite colors. I really do like this color. There's not, there's actually, there's about halfway. I'm actually about halfway done with this, but. The thing I really like about this one is that it is, um, when you have it in your nails, it's really shiny, or um, I guess it's like gleamy, What's, I guess it'd be shiny, but like it gleams the color like purplish pink, because it's like a pink color, but when you like do this, you can, do you see that, like the gleaming of purpleness-ish, but yeah, I really like this, so out of all of these, this is one of the ones I would definitely buy again. And there is quite a few I would buy again, but there's some that I definitely wouldn't buy again. I'll tell you those. So this is this one, and I really like that one. Next one is my favorite one, maybe. Um, maybe not my absolute favorite, but one of my favorites. And this is Do You Lilac It? Everyone that, whenever I wear this, a lot of people are like, oh, I love that color. And so this is what it looks like, the bottle. Do You Lilac It? And it is such a pretty purple color. I love it. And when it dries on the paper, it looks like this. And it's kind of like messed up in the middle, if you can see. Um, but, yeah. That's what it looks like. And I love this color so much. It is very, very non-sparkly. It's not one of the matte ones, so I can't really call it matte. Because this is one of the matte ones. This one right here, and this actually shows a matte, and that's different than this. This just has no sparkle whatsoever. It's really, really nice. Goes on nice. I love this one. Okay, next is this one, which I got for, I think, $1.99. I got all the other ones for $7.99. Or I think I got some of them for Ulta for, like, a good deal when you got two for one or something. Or two, buy a two, get one free. Which you can get that sometimes near Christmas and stuff. So this is your Royal Shyness, and it's just a really, really, really light pink color. And this is what it looks like on the paper. So that's a really pretty color, but the thing I don't like about this one, it does have shimmer in it, and it kind of gleams, I'm just going to say gleams when it, for shiny, I guess. Gleams like whitish, uh, yeah, it's like white gleams in it. And the reason I don't like this one as much is only because you have to put so many coats on it if you want it to be pretty. And it is, if you, as you can see, really pretty when you actually do put like a couple coats on. But it's hard for me to sit there for that long and put that many coats on. So that's the only reason I don't like this one as much. But it's a pretty color. So next is Mother Road Rose. And this is this one. So, this isn't the one I have on, but I do, I'll show you the color real quick before I talk about it. That's this color. So. Oops, I just messed up one down there. Oh well. I do like this color, but it's definitely not one of my favorites because um, some of them go on, I don't know, the color is just a little bit like darker purplish like that and I just love like the pinks and like the bright pinks and the purples and the blues so it's not my favorite but I do really like this one actually because it's like a darker purple magenta type color when you actually put on your nails and it's really pretty so 
I do like this one. Not one of my favorites, but I like it. Okay, Goldilocks Rocks. Wait, yeah, Goldilocks Rocks is the next one, and this is this um, orange glittery thingy majiggy. Okay, so I don't really like this one very much, and it's just like this one is, and you have to put like a million coats on it, but I don't really like the color that much. Here, I'll show you. That's what it looks like right there and I mean that was like three coats on a piece of paper which it shouldn't take three coats to get that on a piece of paper because it's not like your nail it it doesn't need that it shouldn't need that many coats and it's just you have to put so many coats on if you want like this darker orange color and it's more something you put over your nails like over another color and I don't have any other orange colors that are like matte so and it's kind of more liquidy too so this is one of my least favorites actually I don't really like this one very much Okay, next is Dominant Jeans, and that is this one. Oops, I have like I got nail polish on it, but that's this one. And this one is such a pretty color. It's glittery. It looks like this, but I like that one. I like it so much better. The one from China Glaze called um, for Audrey because this one, that one doesn't have glitter in it and it's like a Tiffany blue. This one has a lot of glitter in it and it is just, you have to put, too, you have to put a lot of coats on. I mean, I do like it, but this is also one of the ones that's like, mm, do I really want to get one that you have to put so many coats on? Is it worth it? It's glittery. It's just, I do like it, but again, not one of my favorites. Next is Peruby Ruby, and that is this one. I do really like this one. It is a glittery, shiny, gleaming gold red, and I really like red sometimes. Sometimes it's not in the mood to wear red, but if I want to wear a pretty red, I will definitely wear this one. And there's not actually that much left of this one, so as you can see probably. But it looks like this on a piece of paper. Which is a really pretty red, and um, I don't know if it doesn't really look that glittery on the paper, but it is pretty glittery, pretty shimmery. And so, yeah, I do like this one. This is a pretty red. It is um, maybe in the middle of the ones. Not my favorite, but not my least favorite. Okay, next is Glitterland, and um, this is Glitterland. It is oh, such a pretty gold. I love this one. This is more to the top of my favorites because. It's so glittery and pretty and gold and like it, it glitters silver and gold so it's just gorgeous and it's on my toes as you can see I don't know if you can see that so it's like so pretty and uh, I love this one so and on the piece of paper it looks like this which is super duper pretty next is you're such a kabuki queen and that's this one this is probably on the very top of my pinks Except for maybe this one because I really like this one. But this is such a pretty color because this has no shimmer at all, which I actually really like. And it's more of a corally pink or a, um, I don't really know what how to explain it, but oh, it's so pretty. I love this one. I used this one a lot a while ago, but now I'm trying out my new ones. So, but I will be going back to this one. I'll always go back to this one. Love this color. Such a pretty matte, no shimmer at all, just gorgeous. And it looks like this on the piece of paper. And it looks a little better on your nails than on the piece of paper. But most of them look the same. Next is Blue My Mind, which is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's blue with like purple sheens. It's just such a pretty color. And it like glows on your hands. Just so bright and amazing and gorgeous. And one of my favorites. I have so many favorites from OPI because there's none I really don't like, except for I don't really like this one, but, mm. and there's another one I haven't showed you that I don't really like that much, but I love this one, and this is this one, blue one, it looks better when you like do that, or whatever, I don't know, I can't really get it to the color that it is on my nails, but that's close. Okay, next is Jewel of India, which is this one, and, okay, so, that is this one right here, and it looks really pretty on the paper. And there's also that one. I accidentally wrote, did it twice. And, um, I like this one, but, again, it's not one of my favorites just because this isn't really a color I like putting on my nails a lot, and I don't really know why, but I don't know. It's just not one of my favorites, and it kind of goes on a little more clumpy, but, um, the chipping is, um, not bad at all. It stays on good if you're wondering of that, and if you like this type of color, then you'll, you'll like this one.
Next is La Positively Hot, which is this one, and this is a matte. Okay, so this color, I love this color. Like, this color is amazing. But when it dries, it gets super weird because it's a matte, and that's what it looks like on the paper. But that's not even what it looks like on your nails, really. I mean, it is, but actually that is exactly what it looks like on your nails almost because it gets, like, it starts really bright, but then it gets less bright than this on your nails, and then it gets all weirdish, and then when it chips more easily than the other ones, the matte ship way more easy, easily than I think, I think, than the other ones. So, no, I don't really like this one very much, but I do love the color. <laughs> it's gorgeous when it's, before it's matte. Okay, so my very last one is just a little rusty at this, and that is this color. It is the color I have on my nails, and it is a maroon color, which is the color of my school. And it is super pretty, and I really like it. It goes on smooth. It's a nice matte color, as you can see. Absolutely no shimmer. It, um, it didn't really chip any sooner than the other ones, so the chip, um, stay, or the stay is just as good. And it looks like this on the paper. It looks pretty dark. I think I put two coats instead of one. But as you can see, it's lighter on my fingernails. So, because I only put one coat on here. So, those are my OPI colors, and I really like them. Um, OPI is probably my favorite brand, and then China Glaze. And they all don't chip that easily, and they especially work good if you put a top coat or a bottom coat on so yeah they have OPI top coats or bottom coats so you can also get some of those I don't have any OPI ones but I want to get some soon so I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later bye